Hi everyone, Yasas Kikalo Sirfate to another episode of Dimitro's Dishes. Today I'm going to teach you how to make mascarpone cheese at home. It's creamy, it's similar to cream cheese except not as tangy. It's much milder and creamier and it's used to make popular desserts like tiramisu but it's also delicious to serve with scones and it's just two ingredients so it's so easy to make. Let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna take two cups or 16 ounces of heavy whipping cream. Make sure you get the highest quality whipping cream that you can get. And we're gonna put it in a little saucepan and cook it over a very low heat. It's important that you use a thermometer for this. A candy thermometer works, but this instant read thermometer also works. I usually use it to test the temperature of meat, but it works for this as well. Once the temperature goes up to 185 degrees Fahrenheit, or 85 degrees Celsius, you can take the cream off of the heat and mix it up using a spatula or a whisk so the temperature can drop back down to around 140 or 160. Then you're gonna use the juice of half a lemon or a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice and you're gonna add it to the cream mixture. Then we're gonna return it back to the heat until it reaches 185 degrees Fahrenheit. Again, you want this to happen really nice and slow. It takes about three minutes both times. Actually, the second time takes a little bit longer, but I might even bring it up a little bit higher than 185 Fahrenheit, just so that way it has a chance to thicken a little bit. Again, do this over very low heat. Once you add the lemon juice, you're gonna see that it immediately begins to thicken much more than it was before. And then you're gonna take it off of the heat Mix it up one more time with a spatula and set it aside until it cools to room temperature. Then I have a strainer sitting above a little bowl over here. I'm gonna line it with some cheesecloth. I like to use this reusable one, just so that way we're not wasting anything and you can use it over and over again. I also like to double or triple it, like fold it up. This is a big sheet of cheesecloth, so that way we can save as much of that cream as possible. It won't strain through the strainer or the cloth. If you do one layer, you'll lose some of that cream. Go ahead and transfer all of that cooled cream into the cheesecloth. Cover it up so that way it doesn't form a skin and that way it doesn't absorb any odors from the refrigerator. So you can put this in the fridge overnight or for eight hours. If you're making it in the morning, you can take it out in the evening. You want it to give it a chance to drain the liquid that's in there so it's nice and thick and creamy. And then it's gonna be ready to transfer to the bowl that you're gonna be either serving it in or the bowl that you're gonna store it in. It's up to you. You'll see that it's thickened beautifully. Once it cools, you can just take it out and serve it straight away, or you can put it in an airtight container and it will keep fresh in the refrigerator for about a week. It tastes so good. Now, a homemade mascarpone cheese, the way I like to make it, is a little bit creamier and not as thick. And like, I don't know, there are different kinds in the grocery store, depending on the brand. Some brands make it creamy and smooth like I'm making it, and some brands make it a little bit thicker. So if you want the thicker a mascarpone cheese, you can make it at home that way too, just by adding half a tablespoon of lemon juice more to the mixture while it's cooking. That'll make it thicker, and also cooking it just a few minutes longer will also help make it thicker but this is the consistency that I love it's just so good again like I said you can use this to make tiramisu you can make so many desserts out of it I love to serve it with scones I love to munch on this with my coffee I just sprinkle some cocoa powder onto it and some maybe finely chopped chocolate or chocolate chips and it's just such a nice treat to have without too much sugar in it time for the taste test oh my goodness so good. To me, this is better than even store-bought because it is a little more tangier than the store-bought mascarpone cheese. I think the store-bought cheeses use citric acid. Maybe it's not as tangy as when you use lemon juice. I feel like the lemon juice adds more flavor to it. I know that some of you can't find this in the supermarkets. You've Instagrammed me and sent me messages requesting this, so that's why I'm bringing you this recipe. It's just so simple to make. You could make it at home. It's less expensive than buying it at the supermarket. I think one little tub of it, about the same amount, probably less than this, is almost $7 here in Houston. I don't know how much it is where you live, but it's much cheaper to make because all you need is two cups of heavy whipping cream, whatever the cost of that is. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. You can print this recipe out on the website, DimitrosDishes.com, and also let me know what you love to make with mascarpone cheese in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. Yes, us.